Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I am doing a what's on my iPhone because I recently got the new iPhone 13 Pro Max. And so I'm gonna be showing you guys what's on my iPhone. But before we start, I quickly wanna say if you guys watched my volleyball tournament video, I did mention that I got a new phone, but at that moment I got the iPhone 13 Pro, just the regular size but i did really wanted the pro max and so i went back and exchanged it because to be honest getting the 13 doesn't feel any different from my old phone because i used to have the 11 pro and so i went ahead and changed it and i got the iphone 13 pro max so the case that i have is just a clear case a magsafe case from tech 21 i don't know so i'm gonna show you guys what's on my phone i'm gonna go ahead and screen record it and then i'll insert it right here so i'm gonna move a little this way so that i don't have to block it i'm gonna show you guys my lock screen first so the lock screen that i have is just me along with photo when we went to the cord maze and i just recently changed my phone theme into fall season so i don't know i think it's kind of fall -y with the colors and everything but some of you might not think that and also i forgot to mention i got the color in sierra blue i don't know that clear is right there Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and screen record it and then I'll just pop on here um, what we have. Okay, so when you open up the phone, I have some basic stuff in the front page of my phone. First page of my phone, not front page. I'm gonna go through the apps first and then I'll go through the widgets. So, the first app that I have is Safari, Notes, Settings, Watch, Maps, Reminders, Apps, and then I have a Finance folder and I just basically have my banks my rewards thing, wallet, Tim Hortons, and my bell. Because I need to see how many data usage I have already, so I use that app. And then at the bottom of the page, I have messages, and then I have my socials app that I basically just have Snapchat, Twitter, Messenger, phone, podcasts. I do listen to a lot of podcasts, especially going to bed. Facebook, FaceTime, the vaccine wallet thing, because where I live, uh, we need to do that. You need to present your proof of vaccination and your ID before you can go into restaurants and a bunch of places. The gym also has them too, so we don't have to wear a mask at the gym. And then I have Good Notes, which Good Notes I have it on my iPad, so I just have my calendar, um, some video ideas there. And then I have my planner there on a daily basis, and so I'm, I'm not going to open that up because it has personal stuff to it. But basically, the Good Notes that I have on my phone connects to my ipad and then i have mail which i have 4,000 mails that i keep meaning to delete but i just really don't have the patience to do that so i'm gonna keep that there but yeah and then i have music and then for the widgets the first one is i have the color widgets the calendar ones so that's actually mine and walmart's first picture so just put that there and then on the right side of that, I have calendar, which I don't have any events today. We have a meeting, but I can't really go because I injured my knee. As you guys have watched my previous videos, I still haven't recovered from my knee injury, and that's why I'm doing the sit-down video. But yeah, so I have calendar, I have weather, and that's pretty much it on that one. And then at the bottom left, I have a recent picture of Mia Walmig from the pumpkin patch that we went to and then beside that it's just a picture of me and my family when i graduated because i graduated during covid lockdown and so we didn't get to celebrate my graduation and so they threw me a surprise party so that's that and then on the next page i have this is my photography social media type thing of a page and so the first thing that i have here is camera and then we have photos and then we have Visco and then Pinterest. I don't really use my Pinterest that much. I only use it for inspiration when it comes to photo shoots and whenever I'm trying to draw things, I go there. And then I have Instagram and then I have the photo stocks folder here, which has Google Drive, uh, Dropbox and Google Photos. And so whenever I take pictures, the photographers usually send the pictures through those apps. And I just have Google Photos so that I can save more storage for my phone, but I don't really use it that much. And then I have my editing photos, so I have Unfold, which I use whenever I'm doing stories on Instagram. So those collages on Instagram, I use Unfold for that. And I have Afterlight, which I use whenever I want to put some effects on my photos. Here, I'll show you guys. Let's just do my Sasto 
commercial thing. I took a screenshot of it because I saw it on my Instagram. If you want to put a like vintage type of look, this is what I use for it. This photo is not a good example of what I'm trying to do, but, and then you can also put some light stuff to it. And yeah, it's a very fun app, but you need to pay for it. And then I have preview, which I use to plan out my Instagram page, which I'm not going to open up because I have some photos there that I haven't uploaded yet. So if you want to see those pictures, follow me on Instagram. And then I have relook. Um, this is also a paid app, but this app is what I use whenever I want to lighten something, darken something. So like contour, if you want to darken up your contour, you do that. If it's like your face a little dark, then you can lighten it up. That kind of thing. I don't really use this app that much. I just have it because I paid for it. And then I have Pixart, which I use to do my thumbnails and just to do like little arts and stuff like that. And then I have Facetune 2, which I don't really use because you need to pay for that and I don't want to pay. And so I just have the basic Facetune 2 and I haven't unlocked the other features there. So that's why I don't really use it. And then I have Photoshop Express, which I use to... Oh, I haven't signed in yet, <laughs> but I use this one to kind of blur out the background so that the subject in the photo stands out more. And then on the next page, I just have Facetune, which I use a lot whenever I'm canceling out something in the background. I use the patch um, feature in that. And then I have Lightroom, which I do a lot of my editing in there. And then we have the YouTube app, TikTok, YouTube Studios, and iMovie, which sometimes whenever I'm on the go, I like to edit in my phone or in my iPad so I have that and then for the widgets I have the first one is a picture of me and Womack then the second one is a widget of me and my friends from Saskatoon and Milford and then the third one is just a picture of me Darn and Ara and then the next page this is like my fitness page and just extra stuff so the first app that I have here is the health app, which connects to my Apple Watch. So it tracks your heart rate and all that type of thing. And then I have Flow, which tracks my period. I have My Fitness Pal, which I use to track my macros and stuff like that. But then again, I don't really track my macros anymore. And then I have the Athlete app, which I used to use way before when I was just starting working out. I bought a fitness program from Taylor Katie, I think it's her name. And so I used to follow her workouts and then I stopped because I got my own routine and stuff like that. But since I am injured right now, I can't really work out. I only work out upper body, but that's pretty much it. Moving on, I have the fitness app from the Apple Watch. And so this basically tracks how many minutes you worked out, how many calories you burn. It shows you your goals and stuff like that in here too. And then I have a shops folder, which I have goats because I like to buy shoes. We have the real real, which I don't really use, but I just like to look on vintage stuff, vintage stuff. And then I have Zara, a shop which tracks your delivery whenever you order something online. And then I have Checkout 51, which I don't really use. So it's like cashback stuff whenever you purchase something. And then I have Barrage Sale, which I don't really use anymore, but I just have stuff there. That's why I have that. And sometimes people still buy from my things, and so I just have that. And then I have Extras folder, which has the basic stuff. So I have Compass, Tips, Voice Memos, Contacts, Find My iPhone, Calculator, iTunes. I don't know what that is. Apple Store, Google Home, Numbers, Pages, Measures, Stocks, Books, Translate, Bitmoji, Color Widgets, Widget Smith, Keynote, and GarageBand. So that's just all the basic stuff that I that your phone carries and I just put it all in one folder because I don't really use them. I could delete them technically, but I don't know. One of these days I might need it, so I don't really want to delete it. And then I have a work folder which has files, which I have personal files and stuff like that there and then the Omni app is just basically my benefits from work and then for the widgets we have the fitness widget up here and then it has like calendar stuff too and sometimes this widget just goes random like earlier it was showing the podcast that I was listening to but I don't really have that there so I don't know it's kind of weird and then on the right side here I have a picture of my family when we went to Bath. This is from Lake Moraine Lake. And then at the bottom right here I just have the batteries widgets. I have my phone, my watch, and then whenever I'm using my AirPods it shows there too and then my iPad and stuff like that. But I'm not really 
using it at the moment so that's why and then on the last page i just have the holy bible because i like to receive verses of the day because they're just motivation type of thing and so i have that and i haven't really shown you guys my wallpaper but it's just a picture of all because i'm obsessed with it just like he said <laughs> but that's basically what's on my iphone it's not very aesthetic but the way i planned out certain pages is the thing that works for me and easier for me to access on things and yeah if you guys are thinking of getting the new iphone i highly recommend it Walmart just got the iPhone 13 in red and he loves it so much. The phone quality is pretty good and I don't know, I just like the bigger phone a lot better because just like I said, I used to have just the 11 Pro, just a regular size and I wanna switch it up. Getting the Max is a lot more ideal for me because I waited for this phone. If you wanna get it, go get it. And I also have the MagSafe charger thing. I don't know where it is. The one thing I love about this phone and I hate on the 11 is that the 11 Pro has the rounded corners to it. And I like that this has like the, the flat side so it's like easier to hold. Because the 11 slips through my hands so much because of the rounded edges to it. And so I prefer this one because I can really grab on it. And I'll show you guys the cool thing about this. The 13 Pro has a glass outlining all the way through the phone as well the matte type of look on the back the 13 has the matte look on the edges i don't know what the material is but it looks a lot different and the camera of course yeah so if you guys are wondering the 13 doesn't have glass sides to it but the 13 pro has glass all around the phone because when i got the phone they recommended for us to grab the phone case right away because if we drop it then the entire thing will shatter because me and darren actually got the phone at the same time it's just smarter to have a case whenever you have a new phone and it always i'm very very careful when it comes to phones i've had my 11 pro for about two years now and there's no scratches on it a single scratch whatsoever on that phone i really am careful with my phone and i've dropped this phone so many times already and i don't know if you guys can tell but I have like scratches like right there there's just times that you accidentally will throw your phone drop your phone that kind of thing i don't know i'm gonna stop rambling yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on my next video bye